Welcome to Crosswater Digital Media. This is our virtual atrium featuring previews of virtual reality applications for medical training and education. Today, we'll see demonstrations of immersive training experiences, situational testing, skills demonstrations and bedside manner, enhanced lectures, tours, and 3D medical models. In medical settings, it is essential to be trained and to be able to use that training in an often chaotic environment. When malignant hyperthermia presents, time is of the essence for anesthesiologists and the entire team. Placing a trainee in a 360 degree operating room environment with spatial audio prepares them for immersion in the clinical environment. Offering decision-making options in the simulation primes the clinician for real life treatment readiness. Can we call for Dr. Pivarinas? Hello, Dr. Sampolato. Hi. What seems to be the matter? So, um, he's a 22-year-old who came in for um, a lap happy. Mm -hmm. um, everything was uh, uneventful on um, induction, easy airway, yeah, he has no medical history, no drug allergies, but my end title is going up and, you know, he's fully paralyzed, however, he has rigidity, um, like masseter muscle. This end title reading is an indication to That's the correct choice. Now let's see how your choice directs the situation. An immersive situational decision tree offers a risk-free opportunity to explore consequences of decisions. If the clinician chose to increase saline, you would be watching a different outcome right now, which would show the person in the headset the importance of malignant hyperthermia signs. VR360 surgical simulations prepare students for the fast-paced, often intimidating operating room. This immersive preparation helps students get the most out of simulations and prepares them for clinical settings where patient safety is key. In this module, the student is tasked with finding the practices which go against the principles of sterile technique. The student explores this environment with confirmation when finding the breaks in sterile technique. For example, when they look here, this gown is not properly tightened. The exposed skin puts the patient at risk for contamination from the doctor, as well as the doctor at risk for contamination from the patient. Not properly spinning and tying the gown is a contamination risk for the patient, besides being unprofessional. Masks are an important component of surgical attire. Good catches with the personal protective equipment. Inappropriately wearing PPE puts the patient at risk. Other points to find include, it is important to have a keen eye for recognizing breaches in technique and being comfortable enough in the operating room to point these out without hesitation. Patient safety depends on it. From technical skills to building empathy, VR brings a trainee into the environment, offering a robust base for their learning experience. That can damage the connection between the suture and the needle, and you're more likely to have that break and interrupt your suturing process. You might think about how you interact with people and getting good enough at your skills that you can be performing those skills while you are interacting with the patient and helping put them at ease, which is going to make a big difference in their overall experience. So now our local should have taken effect. Let's see. How's that? Good. Do you feel anything? No. All right. This also brings a traditional lecture and offers benefits such as the ability to visualize content in 3D with opportunities to explore a topic in more depth with features such as bookmarks, flashcard options, medical concept gaming, reviewing patient records, and relevant journal articles, the experience becomes a dynamic environment tailored to the learner. VR is ideal for immersive tours, highlighting your space for prospective students, professors, patients, and practitioners, as well as keeping alumni and donors apprised of your innovations and development. Welcome to the Surgical Simulation Center, where surgical residents and medical students alike hone their skills with procedures as straightforward as simple suturing techniques to those as complex as arthroscopic procedures. This area is huge.
A total of 17 separate stations are set up to perform any sort of surgery imaginable, from craniotomies to plantar fasciotomies, pretty much everything in between. Bringing lessons off the page delivers students directly to visualizing and understanding concepts, skipping the time spent imagining the framework from a micro level to macro. These beneficial models in 3D can be resourced from developed material, or they can be designed and produced in-house. Through 360 video and spatial audio, we can explore unlimited windows to learning, from stars to stents, with infinite possibilities, the only question is which project to start your VR experience with.